Okay guys, today I have prepared some of the Halloween games here. So as you can see here, everything is ready. So the first thing I want to show is the monster craft. So it's kind of easy. So these are the papers. So I did the student color. And after that, they can stick here and have the cutting like this. So it's kind of very simple. A for size. And I've already printed some of the parts here so that they can cut and color and then they can stick and make this kind of craft and be happy. Happy Halloween. It's very simple. And uh, another one is I've taken the vampire and the jack-o'-lantern so I printed and I just laminated uh, did the lamination so I picked two characters so it's a game you can make out of it so it depends the students the number of the students so you divide the students in two groups and one group will be holding uh, the jack-o'-lantern and another one the team gonna be holding the vampire so jack-o'-lantern team and the vampire team so these all the small cards characters will be on the floor scattered according to the space in the classroom and the game is once the teacher says go or play the music uh, the vampire uh, not the vampire the pumpkin the jack o lantern team I'm gonna be making flipping the card into jack o lantern try to flip flip whereas the other team the vampire team gonna be flipping the jack o lantern card into vampire so when the music stops or the teacher says stop you have to stop it and after that the student stops and we everybody I'm gonna be counting how many cards are faced up so for example jack o lantern card let's count how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oops, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, and let's count the vampire 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in this case, the Jack o Lantern team is the winner, right? So the next game I have planned, it's kind of a owl shape I have made here with the cardboard. It's kind of huge, big the cardboard I've used. And actually this is a decoration for a while and you can also play it as a game so to in order to play a game so i have already cut this part and hold with tape so you can just take off the tape out and get the eye off there's a hole now and stand so to play this game it's a kind of a funny game so we need some other things the face parts like mount to eyes and eyebrows nose you can also change the mount if you like so the whole part is to make the face correct. 
the whole mission, the whole game is to make the face on this frame. So holding the frame. Okay, I'm done. And take a look. Oh no, it's a funny face, I made it. That's the game, so the correct one, the proper one will be the winner. So it's kind of fun. After the funny face game, I have another game. So as you can see here, these are the words I have laminated. And behind I have stick the straw and the rope, the yarn, the string, you can use anything, all behind and it's placed in order so you can decorate and you can play as a game as well the game is you just put all the letters scattered or in order depending the age of the kids and place the yarn the wool and the thread in this order so it's a relay game. The student, first student, come and try to get this thread inside. All right, and leave like this. And the second person comes here and again does this. The same process. Try to get the thread through the straw this way. So as they go on and they can form in order happy Halloween and they show to everybody and the faster the quicker team will be the winner. That's the game. The game I have made is kind of a puzzle game. So I have cut into pieces one very nice picture the Halloween picture so the thing is you need to behind this a magnet it's laminated well and try to make a picture complete on the whiteboard Yes, so this is completed. So it can be played uh, in team or individual. Maybe use the, the timer and play this game, a puzzle game. Okay, another attraction I have is a box. I have just made it. Yeah, there's a rubber band. And you pull it and it goes back again, like the mouth. And there's a hole behind so I can put the candies inside and put some scary things and let the kid pick the candy. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So you can think about many games using this box. Yeah. Thank you. This is the ghost I've made with the cardboard and many magnets behind so even you can do the blindfolder game using this and stick on the right place thank you for watching happy halloween